there's been a lot of talk recently with autobiographies and stuff about dressing rooms. Mm. What was the dressing room like in 2005? Well, I think, uh, of course, there's always going to be an element of conversation, isn't there? But um, we had uh, a pretty much a core group of players that, you know, not controlled the dressing room, but, uh, you know, looked after a lot of things to help the captain, help the coach uh, and do it that way. But it was fairly uh, harmonic, you know, sort of, well together and we, we looked after each other um, so you know you, you see issues all the time there's always going to be people sort of coming up with problems and you know you have to deal with them internally it's just a case of manage them uh, and get it right in time but if you've got a strong core of players within that group then uh, it makes it a hell of a lot easier we, we had Kevin Peterson we had Andrew Flintoff we had everybody else who were in that in that team and we managed to, to work it okay um, there was no issues. And was there um, a north-south divide or a bowler-batsman divide or, or anything like that in the dress? No, not really. I, I think you're always going to get that element of something, you know, a bit of Mickey taking between um, Steve Harmson, who lives in Ashington, up in in you know in Durham, and there's me living down in in Taunton, um, where it's nice and warm and, and out of the way. So, you, it's, of course, there's going to be that element. Batters, bowlers, div not divide, but. Um, banter if you like goes on in every changing room um, there's always some, something said a comment made um, elements go on you know it's just part of what we do Marcus thanks a lot